All right. How's it going, everybody? Waiting on our guest. He's having a little bit of a problem. <clears throat> Here he comes. How's that? Can you hear me? Hey, that's better. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> what it was. All right. Oh, we're already live. So I, I had to go live, or they're going to shut us down. Okay, cool. <laughs> no, well, hang on now. Let, let's uh, let me check everything and make sure we're cool. Okay. Let's go back. Why did you do that? Yeah. So it's it is. Good morning, Jenna Harmon's up early with the baby. We got ten people in the house. Let me make sure the sounds good. Jennifer Peters. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got a special show today. Michael Van Patten's in the house. Amy Brown. Lisa. Elizabeth. What's Mary that? Cooper. Lee Robert Molson. Leslie Martin. Sailor Adams. Carrie Samadhi's in the house. <laughs> we had a, yeah, we had a good show the other day on her on her program. All right. We got 25 people in the house. You about ready? <laughs> we do everything spontaneously spontaneously here. Let's get it done. Synchronization, spontaneity. It's good. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's uh let's roll this show out. We got 28 people here. Premi Hogo's in the house. Hung Wins in the house. Dennis Foucher. Isa. All right. So let's formally roll the show out. There's some new faces out there. They must be friends of yours. So just for them to know, my name's Todd Medina. This is Soul Speaks 5D. This is our primary primary show on the Sology Network. And uh, we've got a we do everything intuitively, spontaneously here. Hello, Nick Delaney from Australia. Uh, and so yeah. Uh, you and your friend hit me up, and I was like, "Yeah, I checked out some of your stuff." I'm like, "Yeah, let's get, let's have a show." Uh, today we're having a conversation with Fabian. How do you pronounce your last name? Farkerson. Okay, Fabian Farkerson. Where are you located? I'm in a place called Sheffield in the United Kingdom. Okay, you're in the UK. All right. Yeah. Let me give you, let me give y'all a little backdrop on Fabian, our brother, our new our new friend here. He began a spiritual journey 20 years ago. And since then, it's been on a constant path of self-discovery. He's also an interior designer. And uh, through the knowledge of self, which is something he's gathered over a long period of time, he has led me to be to saving the lives of two individuals through my understanding of the human avatar. Here's some things he'd like to talk about, the upgrade and advancement of the human avatar. That's a good subject. We haven't discussed that before. Uh, this is something that has been largely hidden from us until now. We know that we're electric beings. We know that we do have a soul essence and that consciousness is an interconnectedness web that we're all aligned with. I've discovered through my own self-study over a 20 year period that we're an advanced organic electrical system that is fueled and maintained and ultimately charged by the highest forms of electrical elements along with carbon, oxygen, hydrogen. I'm not gonna read the rest of this because I think we've got a good start. That's a lot of information. <laughs> so uh, yeah. All right, so you're saying here that uh, you started about 20 years ago. You know, a lot of people have an aha moment when they woke up and stayed woke. A lot of people talk about they had it when they were young, then they shut it down, and they went into the 3D world, and they resurrected and, you know, uh, on or about 2012. Did you have an aha moment? Have, are you, have you always been woke? I've always been woke. Um, uh, at, well, at certain points in this particular uh, lifetime, where there's been points like in 2012, I had a massive awakening. In 2010, I had a massive uh, awakening where I had a crown burst, but somebody else did that for me, and then that was what happened. So I had I've had different awakenings at different timelines, at different uh, you know, so at different points in time. I don't like the word time, as I always say. But I've had so I've had different awakenings. So my because my journey is such a long one like that, it has been it's very different to say the usual. Ah, yeah, I had a aha moment 
in 2000 and such and such and it and it was from there my my whole life has been like that so when the when the world trade center happened in 2000 and 2001 i already knew what was going on when i was 17 i woke up to the uh, the anunnaki i woke up to, to uh, the fact that there was anu i woke up to, to tiamat to, and all that sort of stuff because i read a book by a guy called dr malachi york and in and even some of the information in that book now i had to go back and look at it a few days ago because it's i deal with I have so much information that i'm always taking in um and i went back and looked at it and thought whoa <laughs> to, to be taking that sort of information in at, at 17 years of age where yeah. it was uh mm -hmm. it's really yeah kind of kind of you could say mind-blowing but it was natural to me at the same yeah. time so the, the journey that i've been on has, has been one where now it's I, I know it is what it is and i know that i'm down here this, this yeah. is a mission now, now when you read when you read that book you're how old are you now 37 okay so 20 years ago you read this book and the code the memory whatever you want to call it was activated and opened in you in terms of the galactic history earth history that type of thing yeah then but at some point you made the transition to studying the biochemistry the soul the essence the consciousness uh as you're referring to in this electric organic body how did you get onto that because if you go back to that original uh, what i was just talking about when you're if that that's malachi you're at that point we're talking about beings uh, i was introduced to to reptilians and all sorts of stuff because he's got images in the in these books and he's talking about human upgrade and advancement happening before before we arrived other other uh races before oh, yeah. us you know oh, yeah. that's that's what we're talking about at, at that point so other root races etc et and because he was going into such depth and i was chucked in at the deep end my mind was already instantly opened up at yeah. that point so i've i've got my, my mind state went from a scarcity 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 based mindset into an abundance based mindset from yeah. a young a younger age so we're already already thinking and already looking at ways as soon as i read that book i went back into the inorganic matrix did the, the things that people do and went with psychedelics etc uh to try and uh, I'd go into other realms etc because i knew that there was more to what i was seeing yeah from, from exactly. that point. So ho hopefully that that answers the question yeah it answers my question this is very interesting i'm looking forward to this conversation so now so yeah you know and i can relate to that and a lot of people can i think you know i think the first part for many people waking up especially people that are closer to my age you know the old people <laughs> but uh but i think the first one is you know because we were all with families kids and all that and then and then you know the whole truth movement 9 11 what's really going on you know and all that stuff and you kind of get you go through that phase of you know what the hell and then two you start to get if you go deeper you start to get into and receive transmissions downloads or whatever you start to get that galactic history and that earth history and you start to get an understanding that that mother earth is a very special place for all the interference and distortion there are virtually every single universal seeds uh here and that's all part of us so what fascinates me is that third part of the waking up which i think many people are getting to now so this is a timely show and that's what you're studying that's what you're saying you're, you're looking at what we are beyond the lenses that we've had and you're saying okay let's empower this let's actualize this let's activate this let's materialize heaven and earth from the center of the universe that we are so your your studies and your your uh uh research uh is very interesting especially at this time how do you start somebody who's new to this subject and explain to them what we are, what is this that we are? Consciousness, essence, electrical uh, beings, light body. I mean, how would you start us out on this? Yeah, because, well, you, you would start out because obviously the consciousness, like you said, it works in different levels and you could take different. So we've got the the elements of air, water, fire, et cetera, et cetera. And then you, you've you got an understanding on each, each level. You might look at you might look at a piece of information. I was saying this only yesterday. You, you might think of, say, for example, you might think of having sex. You might look at sex and go, oh, yeah, we, you have sex, blah, 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 male and female. We come together. Great. It was brilliant. We had we both had a, an orgasm and that was it. And that and then you discard it and you just say that was sex. 
will will know that was just your interpretation and the idea and the pre -de predefined definition of what sex is. Because when you drop in, when you drop down and you drop in as an avatar, what what happens with the inorganic matrix? There's an inculcation and a predefinition where everything was already predefined for you. Right. You didn't get to smell the rose. You didn't smell the rose and smell it and decide for yourself what it was. Somebody told you this is a rose. This is this. And this and this is that. So, but re 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 really, sex goes. Sex is everything. Six is sex. We are yeah. sex. Yeah. Six is yeah. what we're doing here, right? And six is carbon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just look at some more information. So, you know, the the man Adam on the sick on the sixth. Elohim made Adam the man on the sixth day. This was all on the sixth. So, if I was explaining to somebody. I would have to have take that into consideration and I would, I would you have to explain to people and kind of you can't overwhelm people because that was just saying the mind will yeah. only take what it perceives on its level where it is at, at that particular time. So a lot of esoteric and occult knowledge, which I've got, I'm going to be showing a lot of images here today as well. And um, you, you, you can look at it and perceive it how you perceive it based on your level of interpretation, your level of consciousness yeah. at that particular point. Yeah. So if somebody coming in. I would have to take that into consideration and I would have to ask them what it is that why it, why it is that you want to know what it is that you're asking me. Yeah. You've yeah. got to be really yeah. Soft yeah. yeah, I think that's uh I think that's that uh internal voice that we all have <laughs> that's telling us, you know, because uh, there is seems to be uh every day uh, a more collective alignment, uh more information coming in. And to your point, yeah, the, the brain, the human part of us takes a while to catch up. And sometimes that's hours, sometimes that's days, sometimes that's months or years. Uh, I love this analogy or, or example that you use about sex, because, because one of the things that I think we're getting into is, is now through people like you doing the research that you do and, and, and talking about it, is we're starting to understand what we are. And even if it's even if it's a little complicated, it is really a feeling-based kind of experience you know, without words. And what I was getting at with the with the example you use of sex is that yeah, sex was just sex. But when you when you break it down and all to the different levels of consciousness that you're talking about, you start to realize the power and the energy that you're both giving and receiving. And as we did so much of that on an unconscious level, leaving our soul pieces with people and vice versa, now we can actually go into that experience and and be in control and command of our power. And I think that's yeah. where, you, where you're heading, from what I had read earlier, that I think that's where you're heading with the research that you do. And I think that'd be a great subject is how do we activate and actualize and empower and engage and, and begin to manifest and materialize things you know, in our lives. Yeah. So what you what you've got here. So this is I showed this in a different presentation. But so then this is this is uh, you, you can see that it's like a battery. Yeah. So this is this is a this is like like I say, uh, a, a magnetic field. Yeah. yeah. Around yeah. a battery, right? Yeah. So that's in a magnetic field around a battery, right? And you can see that it's got two poles here. So it's a, there's a plus and a minus. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're in it. We're in a. We have been in a dualistic realm, and there's very good reason for that. But that same energy flow that you can see here, you see that flow. You see the man here. Yeah. You can, you see, can you see he has the same flow? The energy's yeah. coming. I said I, I, when I started, I said to you that I said to you in 2010 that somebody somebody made um, made me have a crown burst. My kundalini came out of my crown like this. It came, I said to you, it came out here like this. Yeah. Yeah. It, this is what. This is the energy flow. Coming upwards, yeah. it starts in the muladhara here. It starts here in the, yeah. in the lower carnal sex root yeah. chakra. Yeah. So yeah. this is the basis of the of, of the avatar. Here. Yeah, yeah. And I'm doing this slowly. I'm going into this this very slowly, but it's all going to come together. So that sex, the aim of the so there's two energies. What I've been looking at lately at the moment, a lot of people don't realize this, but the human avatar, you know, we'll go into this, we'll get into it. It, it has two poles that it work that it's working to. Yeah. So ignore the plus and the minus here. You can take it whichever way you want to, right? But I'm saying downward energy. There's a downward negative energy. 
this a lot of people don't realize this i'm gonna it's a cult knowledge that i'm bringing making bringing out to the open basically other people may do so as well they call this satan's tail yeah this one here yeah that's what this is here the energy you see this energy that we work with we, we have two energies. There's a downwards negative energy and there's an upwards positive energy. And the downwards en the negative energy is called the Kunda Buffa. And a lot of people don't realize that they're working with that energy. When people are watching porn pornography, which is what's happened when you watch that, you're feeding that, that negative, that energy. And it's like an infinite fire. So what ends up happening, and it's we, we have to understand that in, in our body, there's an electrical system in our body and and what it's it's like it, it's like um it's it's all connected. So each each the electric charge runs jumps from one cell to the other. Bam bam buff bam bam. This is what's happening. And up the spinal the medulla is this electric charge. So what happens is when people are using using this energy in the wrong way for unknowing because it's been yeah. occulted from them. What you're doing this this doesn't have to be with sex, but I'm just using that as an example. Yeah. Pornography. You watch the pornography. What happens is is as you watch it and you get into it, that you got this, this this feeling of excitement. That is this this energy. But what happens is, is you can't feed this energy. It ends up feeding on you. So you get it, everything gets more depraved and depraved and depraved yeah. and depraved because you're lost in after now, some after this yeah, energy. But, yeah, yeah. I got you there. I got you there. So yeah. if one half of that of that electrical schematic, whether it's the toroidal looking one or the human body. Same one as half, same. yeah, one half of that is negative, and one half of it's positive. Yeah, so I, I would, I would imagine that. He, yeah, he would, yeah, yeah. So I would Not imagine, here. I would so, imagine, and I, and I, and I don't know that you can that you can get there. And I, I know you're not saying that, like in this example, watching pornography. But if you are uh, engaging that sacred sexual power. How, yeah. What instead of focusing on what we were doing wrong? Yeah. How do we how do we bring in the positive and the negative energy? I'm assuming through the spine up from the base in a balanced and equal level. How would we bring, how do we raise this energy upwards? So what happens is is they are there's just two there's two sides to this. Yeah. So there's there's black tantra and then there's white tantra. So what I'm speak what I was just talking about is black tantra but you don't realize that so what they what they're getting you to do is to expel your vital life force energy yeah they're getting yeah. you to expel it because yeah. you, what you don't realize is you i don't like saying this because it sounds too simple the avatar is not simple they're talking about the original tech but it's like a battery it's a battery so any electrical entity which we are because you're elohim l o l o he yeah. yeah, L L is for L for electric. L made L made man in its own image. So you're electric, but you're encased inside of a magnetic field. Encased okay. inside of a magnetic inside of a magnetic field. So what what happens is we were saying about this this charge. So you got the, this negative and positive charge. So what you would have to do is as a battery, you need to learn how to sustain, how to recuperate and cultivate your own inner energy. Yeah. But you have to regain your inner sovereignty yeah. by, by right. having an abundance-based mindset, by getting into abundance-based mindset to realize, to come to this realization. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, yeah. yeah. But you so that that's the only way it's going. But it's like a yeah. radio station. If you don't know it exists, which most people don't, you will stay in that same state and that state of mind. You could use any, like, for example, I don't. Go into lower levels of consciousness. We talk about governments and stuff like that. I don't talk about nothing like that because it doesn't exist. It's not real. It's a game that's played out. It's just playing it on its own. It, it's you just don't a have time, to play the game. It's just yeah. a timeline that needs to collapse. Yeah. Slow down. Yeah. Slow down. So, I want to go. go ahead. I want to go back to a couple of things you said because I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to miss the topics. Okay. Uh, but you stay with stay with what you're talking about. I'm with you. So yeah. one, I just want to reiterate because I want to make sure that we have a full discussion as I'm representing the audience. Um, one is, yeah, I think at this point, everybody understands that everything in this world ultimately has been designed to keep us from our own power. Part of that, hey. part of that was the role of taboo, role of sex, uh, the, the conditioning that was put upon us as males and females 
as humans and what sex is. So in the very place where we have our most power is the very place where we had our most shadows. And a lot of people have dealt with that. A lot of the root chakra, base chakra has been cleaned out. So now we're at a point where someone like you is here that can tell us, all right, how do we, first of all, I love your comment about sovereignty because so much of this stuff that we talk about can be complicated to people as we're all coming from different perspectives. But the bottom line is, as I understand it and many other people, is that we can claim our sovereignty in any dimension, any place, and any time with anything in front of us, around us, above us, below us. We are that, right? But I want to go back to what you were saying about uh, nurturing and caring for and, and growing this energy instead of expelling it as this yeah. fear-based programming yeah. try to get us to do. How do we do that? Yeah, so I was just that the real reason I was mentioning that because I was just going to say so they have an American president they call him Trump or whatever and he will wear a red tie and he, and that red tie epitomizes that root chakra that he was talking about because it's about power lust for power this is that that's what this is about so in a sovereignty this is again yeah it's about you learning how to and knowing how to master your own inner self right so most people don't realize that you have to cultivate your energy, yeah? So cultivating that, that sexual energy, yeah? Once that energy starts to raise up with certain practices, which we can speak about, once that you cultivate energy, that energy starts to raise up, you will find, you will start to see that things, your energy levels will start to increase because of, because of this, yeah? yeah. Because yeah. You're, not, you're not wasting your energy. This is just one area that was that was. Now, are about. you are you are you talking about abstinence or celibacy? What are you talking about here? When you're saying cultivate, yeah, I think I'm, part of that part of that would mean not expelling the energy. Yeah, I'm talking about the transmutation of sexual energy. So, right in in the churches, for example, see, the the truth is always mixed with lies, and yeah, it's please. like that. It's like that because of your subconscious mind. You cannot be the subconscious mind cannot be lied to. The subconscious mind is connected to the right hemisphere. Yeah. So the right hemisphere, that is the right hemisphere. This is what we're talking about here. The subconscious mind, which we'll speak about, is connected to the right hemisphere of the of the brain. And it cannot be lied to. Yeah. So that's that you should speak about. It has to, you you can't lie to it. So what happens is everything has to be kind of out in the open. So truth is always mixed with, with the lie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So with this with this cultivation of sexuality, so what they will do in churches, they will they will do chastity, chastity, and they will not have sex, right? But their energy becomes stagnant. Yeah, yeah. Which is yeah. why they still stay in this root. And then they end up doing, they end up following the Kunda Bofa, which is when the energy goes downwards. So you are just looking for self-indulgence, self-gratification. Yeah. Through yeah. Through that. So what you have to be able, what you have to learn how to do is there are breathing techniques, for example, that would that you would that you have to employ. You have to start to understand that what oxygen is. Yeah. You see you, the macabre in Hebrew, I don't want to go too far off talk it's C-O-N-H, which is carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, and hydrogen. Yeah. We have to understand that we have to work with these molecules. Spirit and matter, give me just one second. Spirit and matter are intertwined, are intertwined, yeah? So again, I only did one presentation on this previously. This is this is an old, this is an ancient West African symbol. What very, is very that? old. Is it's a Merkaba? No. But you see this here, yeah? yeah. That, can you see it says spirit and matter? Yeah. Yeah? So that is, that is how this place comes together. Yeah. That is how this realm comes, That's right. comes, comes yeah. together. Yeah. And because yeah, yeah, no, you're you're exactly right. Yeah, yeah. we're in it. We're in it. We're integrating yeah. matter and yeah, what you're yes. calling spirit, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna bring all this together. Don't you worry. So no, no, that's okay. There, there we go. There we go. There we go. So in the middle, you can just see there's a green number four. Yeah, that's the that's the organic point of singularity. Yeah, that's yeah. zero zero point. You got it. So zero point. <laughs> Zero point so, darkness. 
so okay so let me give you an example because somebody asked the question again and then you go mm -hmm. back to what you're, you're talking about yeah so la last night i had a, a dimensional experience where i was well i was in or around or momentarily in the zero point so i walk outside i'm in hawaii i'm in the backyard and uh it, everything all levels started to merge plants the wind the stars uh the grass the trees and so when that happened what uh what appeared in front of me as a result that i was seeing with less veils let's just say that uh a dragon appeared and just in front of me and uh and the dragon was a telepathic thing and it gave me big ass love and and some information and then it merged with me and it when it merged with me it went right into my root chakra and and i understood at that time that obviously i was aligning with an aspect of myself however you want to put it but that this specifically was giving me a charge into a cleared root chakra for the purpose of uh transforming that energy creatively into what I'm doing. Now, my question with that is when something like that occurs, because it's happening to a lot of people, whether it be with a dimensional experience, another person, or just a Kundalini moment by their own self-practice. But when that occurs and you get that charge into the root chakra, what do we do with it? I like the way you use the term charge. Because I'll tell you, <laughs> I'll was, tell you why. It was a charge. It was a I'll charge. tell you why. Yeah, it was an it was it, well, the charge that you receive that, that ignites this flame that I'm speaking of what I'm speaking about right now is a negative electric charge, a negative electric ion charge. Which is provided to us by the great mother. Yeah. Well, it was yeah. definitely a feminine dragon. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> yeah, but, it, but the feminine dragon that you speak well, the feminine, the divine mother Kundalini is a serpent energy. Yeah. This is this this is what that's that's what she is. Yeah. So what you say now, obviously, that's probably saying to you that you're, you know, you're it's where you're at in your own progression. That that for me probably could be your higher self. It's you, you know, that's a 4D experience that you're having, and it's definitely about your own your own progression. Yeah. And and then the and then but when the energy when the charge comes in. You know, I've worked a lot with a, a divine feminine, my partner, for three years, who carried, carried carries like a lot of, a lot of women in uh, anonymity for many, many years, doing the work, downloading, channeling, and in that, in that relationship, learn to move that energy into the heart. Now, is it is that part of what you're talking about? Because I know there's a lot of different modalities and processes, but when you're talking about breathing, is that is that what you're doing with the breathing that you're discussing, uh, bringing up that energy? From the lower chakras into the heart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is one 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 way you're doing it because you see what you're doing. You see, is you're, you're everywhere else apart from that that heart. The heart is you see the stat. This is the zero, obviously in the center. Everything else is static. Yeah, static. yeah, 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 yeah. It makes static. sense. That makes sense. So, you, so you're gonna get back to theta. Yeah. Back to the zero point is the darkness, which is also connected to the stillness. When you was in the in your in the womb in the darkness for nine months, you was in the zero point. You was working with that energy. That was the same energy that helped you to grow. Yeah. Yeah. That is the same energy that we have to return back to, to the yeah. center. And we can do that. That zero point is behind our eyes. When we close our eyes and we enter that that zone and we go into to theta. Then we and you do it when you go to sleep because then you go to sleep and you're going to rest, which is to reset. So, you there is a reset mechanism also instilled within the human avatar, which is what I'm speaking about. And the reason I spoke initially about the muladhara and being in that in that area is because it's connected to the mind. Because so what happens is you are in your lower carnal animal nature. You don't realize the depths of who you are and what you can achieve so what, ha what has to happen is these energies have to be risen up with one way is with the breathing but you see like i was saying you see spirit 
in Latin, spiritus, which is to breath, to breathe. We don't realize, but what we call it in air, oxygen is prana. Yeah, yeah. it's christic, yeah. it's christic life force. So I was already looking at something this morning and you see the glands are filled with the, with the rays of the sun. This is what happens. And the, the sun, glands. your glands, yeah, so your gonads, yeah. etc. So the sun, what the sun does, the sun provides photosynthesis. Yeah. So the avatar, we're all connected. So we're, in, we're the same as the great mother in quality, but not quantity. So the sun provides photosynthesis. When the sun provides photosynthesis to a plant, i.e. me and you, it, it charges us. It charges us with something called CHO, yeah, yeah. which is carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen. Yeah, so the carbon's in there's a fat, it burns that. So it, it's charging you with this. So what we have to learn to do is you can sit there and breathe all you like, but you have to realign yourself with the great mother. Yeah. yeah. In terms of what it is that you are cons what you are consuming, because this tech needs to download information yeah the cells consuming consuming as in what are you talking about eating yeah so for everything? everything so so for Conscious. example the, the, what you watch what you watch or don't watch on tv what you entertain yourself with I mean, well past that i, I yeah you become an alchemist and you you, you know so, but so for say, example, but I'm saying when you say when you say what you're feeding or whatever word you use or you're talking more than food you're talking the whole yeah yeah, yeah 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 because okay. you see you, you've got your, your your initial senses, yeah? There's a lot that I can go. You've got your initial five senses, and it tells us in 5,000-year-old scripture and text. Um, let me just write this down a minute. Electromagnetic, one second. It tells us uh, these five senses that we, we mustn't become over, we mustn't become overwhelmed by our senses, our five senses. Why mustn't we become overwhelmed by these five senses? The reason is, is because we are living in, a, in an illusion. Yeah. So if you go to the top of this field, of this Toroda field, and you were mm -hmm. to look down, if you were to look downwards on yourself now, but you can't see this, but a mutant can see this and a bird can, and can see this yeah. because they have, we have cryptochrome in our eyes, magnetic sensors. Yeah, but they 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 have them, but there's a far greater than us. So that yeah. the, the, the that's reason why, yeah. that's yeah. why that's why dogs and cats and babies see things that we don't. That yeah, that's really why they run away. So yeah. so okay, so this is great. All right, so uh, I know you've done a lot of research. I know you have. I can tell. Uh, <laughs> so let's 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 throw a little contrast on it. Okay, so you know, if you look at the, uh, I don't know what they call it, ast astro history, astro theo, astro, astro if you know, like Man Manly P. Hall stuff, Manly P. Hall stuff. He yeah, talks oh, about yeah. the sun going through the, the 12 constellations and then every 2160 years, and then it just this builds and that builds. So, my question is I find your stuff very relevant, like many people I run across. At the same time, there seems to be a universal alignment correction that's far beyond the Earth, far beyond the solar system galaxy. It's it's a it's a multiverse, omniverse, full alignment cycle of cycles, whatever it is. Because there's plenty of evidence, especially this year, especially the last couple of months, even uh, more this energy that's coming in from the sun or wherever it's coming from, emanating from us. However that works in that toroidal relationship. Uh, it's coming faster and a wider berth every single day. So on one hand, there's there's like, you know, let go or be dragged. And then on the other hand, we're here in this consciousness with purpose and meaning. And, and, and how, how do we face that? I mean, it's almost like chill out, chill out and en enjoy the ride, catch the wave and hang 10. And then on the other hand, uh, there's this in, intense internal drive to find our true essence and power. So, you know, how does that fit in? Do we do we need to be totally focused on, on that? Or is there a way for us to find that flow and that wave by feeling our way through it intuitively and imaginatively, creatively? 
what happens is, is we, there's an ebb and flowing that we have to go back to. You see, the, the, reason, that it, the reason that it's like that, I'll show you in a cult symbol, I'll show you something. All right. See, you see this this here? Yeah, this cool. is a, a quite a strong occult symbol. I've been sharing it a lot lately, actually, on, on Facebook, etc. So everything I'm speaking about, about the human avatar, everything that we've just been talking about right now is all in this picture, a lot, a lot of it. So this is the sun and the moon, sun and, yeah. sun and moon here, yeah? This is electromagnetism. You can see the Ida and Pingala, and this would be both, I believe it is. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so sun and moon, yeah, sun and moon. So then as we come down and we drop down, so I haven't spoke about this yet, but this is the way the toroidal field works. This is how your toroidal field works right now, yeah? It's micro, macro. You are the same as the great mother in quality, but not quantity. So you, around you right now is this same field, same thing happening. There's a left, there's, there's two fields going vroom, vroom, vroom. The left-hand side of your uh, avatar is not the same as the right-hand side of your avatar. It's two different sides. That's yeah. why my, myself, one of my eyes, my left side of my body is different to the right. So my eyes are different. They're, they're, they're different. So Everybody is. Yeah. yeah. And everybody's is, is because they're surrounded by this tor these two toroidal fields. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So, so I have a question. I have a question. I, I love that picture, by the way. Uh, now, it, it, and, and again, we're we're using human words uh, to describe what is a metaphorical experience. <laughs> Everyone, you know. So, sun and moon. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of talk and there's a lot of evidence that the moon is artificial, or at least modified, uh, that it is a control mechanism. Now, when I when I think about you know how deep does the rabbit hole go, I don't just look at it in this earth realm. I look at it in in the the fourth dimensional nefarious energies that were controlling us, such as the archons and the, whatever was behind that. And each dimension we get into, I've noticed this with my own personal experience with what we might call the other side of the veil through other incarnations that are disincarnated through my own other aspects. Uh, I'm sovereign over all of that is the way I look at it. All of that, because all of that is me. There's a reason we're conscious here. And, uh, you know, so I have to question anything that's telling me the moon. And I'm not saying I believe the moon's artificial or not. I, know I, think, every, yeah. I think everything is made of the same God, God is substance. So we can alchemize and integrate and balance with anything. But, but anything I look at, Thoth, uh, is, uh, Zachariah Stitchin, uh, you know, anybody, Carl Sagan, anybody, I have to look at it and say, okay, how do we know they weren't affected by what they didn't know was further down the rabbit hole? In other words, uh, ultimately, uh, this information is moving so fast, I have to question everything. How, well, how do you feel about the moon, the moon serving in that uh, diagram and being the basis for half of our existence? Yeah, well, it depends on where you're at consciously. What we said earlier it depends on where, where you're at. So if if you if you're doing if, if you do internal works properly, and if you if you go into things, you see, it depends on like I keep saying where where you're at, who who you are. Yeah, I there's a level of I don't have no belief. There is no belief inside me. I can watch certain things. I take bits and leave it. Blah 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 blah. blah. But then I also understand. That there is truth mixed with lies. For for example, so someone might say, if you like, I seen something that somebody else did yesterday. A very very good anthropologist actually. His name is Robert. So I'll go to it. I love uh, him, go, man. Robert Seffer. Love, Robert Seffer. Oh, Robert he's Seffer. incredible. So, I asked him to be like, on the show. I asked yeah, him to be on the job. show, but he's ignoring me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he doesn't want to do interviews apparently. So, um, what it is when people are saying, oh, right, they're trying to go to Mars. This guy, this Trump guy, whatever, they want to go to Mars. And they're saying, I, I seen something last night, and they were saying that the moon is artificial, right? I'll yeah. give you some other knowledge now. They say the moon was artificial, half art was made like that. It was organic, half organic and half artificial because they mess, messed about with it, um, which is which is what they were saying. Yeah. Now, you, you can look at that. So what happens is, is this, then they say they want to go to Mars, but it depends how you look at this realm. Depends yeah. how you look at this realm. You have to... In what, layer, what layer of consciousness, like you were saying? Yeah. yeah. Or let's yeah. put it. Let's put it another way, maybe so people can understand. What well, you know, if you think about it, we're not going forward in time, and it's not linear, but but it's it's like we're going backward to the original yeah. the original yeah. timeline. So so maybe in a certain 
a number of timelines the moon was artificial and it was used as a base and we've been controlled and we're like you know animals in a cage or whatever and they're sapping our energy and whatever all that history it doesn't matter because we are now aware of who we are what we are and what we're all about so in other words any reality we keep going is a timeline that's active like yeah. you said earlier you don't talk about government you don't talk about this and that because it does not exist in your in your experience therefore that timeline will be collapsed and yeah. the more people that join the force that you are or i am mm -hmm. or whoever is in in uh collapsing these timelines the more the more the quicker we're going to get back to the original pure love timeline that's how i would yeah. say yeah so the moon i was saying which is that is perfect which is exactly right so the moon you can then when people say that you see people go oh the moon is artificial you can ding it and blah 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 and it makes this massive noise but then there are certain if you look at the um the dogon tribe or the nomos etc i think it's the dogon they will tell in there they will tell you in their cosmology that you see the great mother mama ama who's masculine and fe who is masculine and feminine remember i was telling you again right yeah. so these the, right created this realm where we're at now but when she, when she created it in the first place she she made an error and she gave birth to in, she creating a cash made it out of chaos and she gave birth to an entity yeah but that entity was born out of chaos and this entity was not birthed in that with the other aeons yeah but the other aeons the gods yeah there is no words to describe the aeons. We, we, we come from the, the aeons as, as well, right? And there's a reason why we come from the aeons. But so what happened was when she created it, she fell and created this out of chaos. It was an error, so, so to speak. So, but then what happened is she created something called the jackal, an entity called the jackal, which is her son. So what is that? So to, to the great mother, 26,000 year cycle is one day. But she's mm -hmm. gonna she she has to ascend. Now the depth the depths of this is I'm telling you after 20 years that I know that I am I chose this mission to come yeah. down here yeah. to aid in the ascension of Sophia. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So and in, in that story they tell you that the jackal you, the moon wasn't there before and it came with the, the, the so to do with the jackal and the jackal okay. is inside. Oh, that's it. That's Look. what people say. But what I'm saying is 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 this. It's not just what I'm saying. Right. This what it's the real deal is is, is that the, the great this is the woke the womb of the great mother so that just like you have your left brain and you have your right brain she also has her son and her moon yeah they belong to her now yeah. this what the, the real the real truth is this the, a lot of other stuff is deception in this truth movement etc yeah. people going yeah, on about globes and, and and other planets going to come here and crash into this place i could tell you that this is paradise and this is not something that you I can agree. just mess about I agree. with it doesn't, we we I will agree. go we will go we will go first this is you did with I, i'm totally i'm with you man <laughs> supreme so, infinite <laughs> let me ask you let, i got a couple of things i want to ask you because uh, i know we're on the same wavelength right now because of the fact that you remember you mentioned robert sefer and i don't even watch that many people but i love his stuff but i just know intuitively so first of all you made the comment. I got two questions for you. One, one is regarding a ge geographical place on the earth. But this is what I wanted to ask you. So you mentioned mission. And I and I, like many uh, more every day are waking up to a mission or missions. Uh, but there definitely seems to be an expanded telepathic awareness, shared conscious beehive mind intelligence that's expanding that some people might call blue rays or first waivers or star seeds or whatever. But so my question to you is uh, what is specifically is your mission? How do you see that uh, functioning or how do you see that in terms of the entire mission as in what is the entire mission? Is it the same thing that your mission is? And I'm talking about the team. And then the second part of that is, do you have any type of galactic, affinities i mean do you do you have uh certain resonance with certain galactic star family lineages that type of thing yeah so right, yeah so right so consciousness conscious moves moves in different waves we've just come out of a cycle that our paradigm ended i think it was last year you know we have the kali yuga etc so that means that what happened what happens is here consciousness rises and falls 
So we have a five, six thousand year cycle where the consciousness was is not where it's you know it's, it's dropped, it's gone. So basically, you're in this lower animal carnal carnal side. I'm I'm in a position where, and I will speak about these these, these things openly now because now is the time for me to do that. I, I can act, I can come out of my body and watch my body, and le- I can see my body from a different angle. I'm able to do that. I can do that. The, 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 these type of things, right? Why am I able to, to do these type of things? Because it's encoded in who I am, and there's yeah. not just me. There's many other living souls that are down here, and I hate to break this as well in, in, in some ways. But not everybody down here. That people, some people don't like it. Not everybody down here is a living soul, unfortunately. Yeah, because you are in the middle of a war. I'm sorry to, to let people know that, yeah. that is the case. And what it is, there are certain entities that are here that are that don't like the Great Mother, right? I'm telling okay. you why I'm over here. Why, and yeah. then, but let's make sure we make sure. No, no, I love this conversation. It's right okay. up my alley. But I want to make sure that we're not losing people, because you're 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 saying some things that that. I know we talk, we've got over 600 shows here. We talk about a lot of stuff, but this is stuff that I, that I study myself and stay on top of and continue to go down the rabbit hole. So back to what you were saying, you were talking about uh, number one, and I just want to make the distinction. I just want to hit these points quickly. One, not everyone down here uh, is a soul. Yeah, okay. So we're points. talking, we're talking, I'm assuming we're talking clones we're talking holograms, we're whatever, you know, whatever the technology is, cyborgs, whatever. Okay. Two, uh, back to the mission. Uh, I just want to make sure we, we hit on that. Uh, are you a part of a galactic team, angelic team, uh, that's come here to do what? Right, we come we come here to aid in this. So at this at the moment, which we'll go to, is aid Jurian, but we'll talk about that as well. Yeah. So I can't mix in this place and do the things that that other normal people can do. I can't put a mobile phone to my ear. It's lucky I could just back put these to me. I do normally do my shows about them because I get sick to, pains that go down my ear frequencies. So what what has to happen is 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 this right? This this. What's happening here in this realm is a massive, like you could call it, it's like a universal crime that's affecting what's happening else, elsewhere, right? Because although we, we've kind of created this scenario for ourselves deliberately in order for us to learn, because you see consciousness emanates from the center and that's what this is here, this bottom, I don't want to go to quick so I don't want to come off track. That's what this checkerboard is here. You see all in these music videos and everything, I'll explain it, to, I'll explain it, right? So what, what what's what's happened is here is, is 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 that we have got living souls are supposed to drop down into this physical here. I've got about 50 slides on the floor, but at the moment we're just covering these, right? So we, we're supposed to drop down into this into this physical realm, right, in order to have an experience where we're able to to learn, right? That's what's supposed to happen, right? So, but what is actually what's actually happening, this place has been there is like a virus here. Yeah. It's like a, there's like a virus here. So I said to you, the jackal is here. And what's happened is, what's happened is, is, is this. The, the jackal was tricked because it is, is here. It was tricked into giving its divinity. It works with this negative, egoic, downwards energy. So in over time, people have, you know, they've passed, passed their kids over to the Moloch, et cetera. So their kids could be burned in the fire and all this, blah, 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 blah. Right. So... We, it, it, this, the, what's happened is there is an infection, there's a virus, yeah, in this organic, what was an organic matrix. Okay. Organic so, okay. So, two things, great conversation. First of all, the jackal, per the myth or per the story that you're telling, Demiage. was was the result of, a, of an act of mistake. Yeah. Okay, kind and of. and and I'm just coming from a place that says because I'm going to try to simplify everything I can. That how the hell does the universe, Mother Universe, make a mistake? There are no mistakes. Two, I understand what you're saying, and there are many, many people waking up and acknowledging what you're talking about. What has occurred, you know? And to me, I'm at the point where I don't really give a shift. <laughs> anymore because, <laughs> because they're just stories they're no no different than the stories of the traumas we went through as humans they're there to awaken and code in us and so what i'm getting back to is where we started which is the empowerment and the engagement the actualization 
uh, the implementation of this avatar in control consciously merging the human brain and mind, the heart yeah. and the whole nine yards, that we we can overcome all this stuff. Do we have to know every part of it? Are we really in a battle out there? Because if we believe we're in a battle, we're in a battle. Okay. And, and, if, and if we believe that we are sovereign, free, fearless souls, that are gods, goddesses, creators, co-creators, we can actually collapse all those timelines because they're all distorted in illusion. Is that, yeah, is that what yeah, you, yeah, yeah. So that story, what I'm telling you, I don't like to say story because it is exactly as it is, but it's also archetypes of what's going on within us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's so if, if I'm saying to you, I've come down here to complete a mission, blah, 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 etc. If if you are the, the very at the moment for me, if you activate your uh, auric field, your auric field, yeah, is like this. Your auric, your biomagnetic auric, your auric field looks like that most people not yours but potentially it's like this is unclean it's unclean so if it's unclean you're you, you are just suffering by default yeah so something is making your auric field unclean yeah what's yeah. making your auric field unclean it's because you are not aligning with the great mother you are aligning with something else you are aligning with that same something else that i was just what i was just speaking about yeah you are not aligning which is, with, with which 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 that's something you were just speaking about that's yeah. that's not the, that is not the great mother yeah it but is could, not even it's not even real yeah it's just a downward negative energy is it that's but it. it's not but it's not real it's just something no. that's been given a face and a name i mean no it's it's, it's real yeah because it's a force if, if, so if it's, it's real it's created by the great mother hmm. okay if it's real it's created by the great mother so anything created by the great mother, uh, we cannot divorce ourselves from. We cannot unalign from it. We cannot. So, uh, if you're going to align with the great mother, you got to align with all her darkness and all her light, right? Yeah, which is what I was. Now you just you can see what you just said there, right? So, so uh, in other so words, just... so in other words, I would have to embrace my reptilian heritage, you know, my arconic connection as much as I would with any angel. Or divine essence. You got it. You got to embrace the darkness and the shadow. Not the darkness. You got to embrace your shadow side and you incorporate that lower being into that higher being. This is the aim, the trick. It's not a trick. Yeah. This is the reality. What you must do. What must happen. Yeah. Find the right symbol for it. You go up to the heights to drop back down into the center, which is neutrality. So I'll show you. Right. So you got the sun and moon here, yeah. Sun and moon here. Below that here, you got the checkerboard, yeah. This is the dip, not knowing the difference between right and wrong behavior, good and bad, good and bad, yeah. Once we raise up into the heart, you see the heart is being weighed by the feather. This is the heart there. It's being weighed by the feather. So what we what we have to do is marry these two good these this light and dark side together to create a hole, yeah. And yeah. then that hole is this. Look, this is it. The symbol is bigger. The reason I'm showing you all these symbols is because the symbol is bigger than the word. Your subconscious, the ancient side of you, if you can just see that, yeah, recognizes these symbols. You see the man and the woman, they're both holding their heart. They're holding yes. their heart here. This is a woman and that's a mm. man. And this the is, they've got their hand up. And the vesca the Pisces. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but look at them in the middle. Can you see them kissing? Can you see them kissing? You can see them kissing in the middle. Yeah, that's what that is in the center. You can yeah. see that in the center. Yeah, that kissing in the center is the merging of the masculine and feminine coming yeah, yeah. together. The merging of the conscious and the subconscious. So the merging of your the will and the left and the left and the and the imagination and the right hand side. When the two of them come together and intertwine, this is the merging of the see. This is the electromagnetic, the, the red, this is red yeah. and blue, electromagnetism merging together. What happens when you merge red and blue together? You get purple, don't we? Yeah. So this is where we get illumination. So we have to realize, yeah, that, that the game of good and bad and right and wrong, we have to merge the, our lower, lower side, lower self with our higher self in so order to maybe, find maybe, balance in the middle. Maybe we want to use the different terms in good and bad good and evil maybe we want to use the terms chaos or flow you know 
uh, ebb and flow. Ebb you know, because flow. well, because I mean, the thing is, you know, we also realize after waking up, we realize that everything that has been a circumstance or a consequence uh, has all come from our own energy field, right? Uh, our lives, our, our circles of our jobs, our whatever, right? Uh, I think the difference now is, is we're starting to say, hey, we can, con we know this, we can control this. We can find that zero point by accepting, you know, all points of light, all points of dark and finding the zero point. And actually, actually, to me, that's the purpose. The purpose is living in creation. You know, we're doing something that the universe has never done before. You, you're only going to be Fabian one time. And Fabian is not just here on a mission. That's just one part of him. But the one part of us that we'll, we'll never get back is Todd and Fabian. Now, that consciousness may live on, and we may in other incarnations pull from that consciousness because of its courage and its love and its devotion and all that. But we only get one chance to be Todd and Fabian. What's your mission? This is the thing. So I was saying earlier, so you see that consciousness emanates from the center and comes outwards. So as you go out further outwards, consciousness falls. So we, 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 we exited the garden. If you look in the great arcanum, the reason we, ex if we go back to the very beginning of the, our conversation, the reason we exited the garden was because we started, we started expelling our vital life force energy. The original avatar was on loop like this. The energy is coming down and up like this. As it does, as it comes up, you're activating. Your biomagnetic field expands. With your when when your biomagnetic field expands, yeah. When it expands, when consciousness expands, and it, this happens through energy, it's high energy that does this. Yeah, your consciousness expands and the biomagnetic field expands, and we're able to connect through the earth's magnetic field with the great mother. And we this is science. We are able to yeah. receive and emit information. I'm able to do that. I stay up till I don't hardly, I don't, I can sleep. I do get tired at times, but my energy levels are through the roof. I don't sleep that much. I'm constantly downloading new information all the time, all this, because I've aligned myself with this earth, with the, with the, with the, the, the bigger organic tech versus I'm the smaller organic tech, but I've aligned myself with it. One of the ways I do that is because I understand how the avatar works. So I drink aged during, I drink aged during because what we do, what's been hidden from us is, is that we have to be charged, negative electrically charged because you're an electric being. And that's, and that, that, that's, that's how it works. And high and alkalinity is a negative ion charge, very, very high negative ion charge. Yeah, what this does is it, it, it elevates the consciousness and it elevates, it's like a thermometer as well that works within. Yeah, it elevates and rises and shoots that energy upwards in towards the heart. The heart yeah. also, what the heart is able to do, the heart is able to, um, the heart is able to read information and it's able to predict future events before they actually happen if we were able to get there but you said does this thing exist oh yeah i damn right this thing exists because what? it's controlling the technology when we was talking about this, this uh, but how, I, don't, I don't know i can't agree with that no nothing controls me nothing, no, nothing controls con nothing I'm controls not, us it, it no no exists. i'm not saying that i mean as as a i'm just saying as a as, as a look we're talking about a story here we're yeah, talking yeah. about a story. I, I'm just trying to simplify this where we're at. Demetrius says Vesica Pisces. I mean, we, we, we're, we're right back to where you were on the diagram. And I guess what I'm saying is, is, okay, you download every day. Okay. I download every day. A lot of people download every day. We're in a quantum experience now. It's no longer linear. So when you download, you're pulling that information into this realm. You're connected to the earth and you're connected cosmically. Uh, you're also connected to all your brothers and sisters. Do you think that when you're downloading at this point of the game, as it is now quantum, that we're all we're all receiving that information? regardless? No, because okay, you, you have to, you, you said to me about control. Now, there's nothing controlling. 
you, 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 you are, I'm, what I'm telling you is, is that you are a supreme godlike entity, but you have to activate it and access it first. Yeah, you can't if you if you don't you have to you have to be in a sovereign and take control of your 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 own being in order for these things to happen. You could right if 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 you don't could take control, then something else will take control over you. But you have to take hmm. control. You have to become sovereign for your, for yourself. Yeah, you have to discover your own even inner sovereignty. Yeah, I agree. how do you at the moment if you, you don't right? You're supposed to drink of yourself. You're supposed to drink of your own urine. Many people don't realize this. Yeah, yeah, they don't they don't realize that. This I'll show you that. This is aged urine. This here is aged urine. Yeah, right. So yeah, yeah. And what this what this is? This has a pH level of nine. Now cancer, right? For some for an illness like that. All of these illnesses and diseases are linked to acidity. You got to just connect the dots with this abundance mindset. Yeah. So what happens is, is this our vehicle, yeah, with our internal system creates high-end alkalinity, which is what this is, which is the sun. The sun is alkaline, it brings us alkalinity. Yeah. So we have to align with this realm in order to activate ourselves. And in order for us to take control over who we truly are, if uh, if you don't come, no, you said align with this realm. Yeah, right. Yeah, you have to align it, with the realms. It's with the realm. Is the realm is said? life. Yes, this realm is life. It's alive. Life. It's not dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. To, yeah. Have, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you have to align with yourself with light. Yeah. If you don't align yourself with light and life, yeah then you won't be able to properly raise yourself up properly because if you if you if you're eating sugar and you're eating meat i, sh I just i'll show i'll show you give me a look look no no this what i'm showing is how the avatar works right the cells carry information vital information this is this is what the average person's blood looks like this is what the average person's blood looks like when they have they have the foods that you've considered to be foods like with sugars, etc. This is what somebody's blood looks like in a highly alkaline state. This is the cells. Can you see how the cells are stagnant? The cells here are stagnant and they are stuck together. They are not moving freely. These cells, these blood cells. And the blood cells are very, very important. Very, very important because what the blood cells do, they act like a furnace, for example. And they also contain information and they store memory on who you, on who you actually are. Yeah, this is how we upgrade our, our avatar. Yeah, if we are on a normal sad diet, eating bread and all these all these type of things, etc., and eating animals and all these things, right, that we've been shown to do. Yeah, there's a lot of bad that's been happening down here. We can paint pretty pictures and make it look positive what we like, but we have to incorporate the dark in order to balance and find my art and find balance in the middle. So all this is the average person's diet. So while that blood, these blood cells are like this, they are not happy. And you can see they are stuck together. They are not moving freely in any way. This is affecting your overall state of being, your mental clarity, the way you perceive this reality, the way you think, everything. Because what you are is what you could, what you consume is what you are. Hippocrates would told us that thousands of years ago. You are what you eat. Let thy food be thy medicine. This realm is here to serve you and you are here to serve it so if well, this is the blood of someone in a highly alkaline state their blood is highly oxygenated with without oxygen you you can't move your arms properly because it sends oxygen there for, to, and ele an electric as well an electric charge as well so we have to create an imperfect environment within our being to take control over who and what we are That's gotcha. what this is. See? So, and, and so uh, going back to we're, the, we're merging matter and what you're calling spirit. And is there not, let me put it another way is, is, is or is not everything energy? We're everything energy, energy. Food's energy. Uh, everything's an energetic force. Yeah. So, you know, if 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 that's the case, then the energy of information, or we might call it light, 
the energy of just being told right now by Fabian, this is how the body works. This is how the blood works. That is or is or not that energy of that information just as powerful, if not more powerful than the physical aspect of somebody serving as GMOs or fluoride in the water. In other words, the knowledge itself, the light itself is an alchemical uh, force, a transformational force. You don't know until you know, but once you know, you know. So now what we had to do 20 years ago, we don't have to do today. You know what I mean? I mean, it, it, you. I know people that have gone through years and years of, I know a lady, uh, a sister that not too far from here that has Phys that has physically ascended. Very well known person. She's documented everything. She's got a huge freaking library of stuff. But what may have taken her two years might take somebody else now in this present time, two weeks or two months. Because the information and the advancement of the light and the expansion is growing. So I guess what I'm trying to say is it's important that this information get out there. But do we get stuck on the old 3D paradigm of you got to eat this, you got to drink that, you got to behave like this? Can we not get there by, by controlling our electrical field through the infinite energy source that we are? I understand what, you, what you're heading to. And, but the, the, what, what happens is we are remembering what we are. It, this yeah. isn't just something that just happens. This is cycles in time. That happen we've already been in a golden age before this is oh, it's, it's not something new that's happening it this happens and it, this also gets wiped out if it doesn't go right and it starts again it's a deluge that happened in samaria i know for a fact i had a lifetime in samaria at that, that point of time so i know i was i know for a stone cold fact that i was here at that particular time so it, in this in this realm yeah like i say there are cycles in in time and then we remember who we are and what we are yeah so it, it's would you it's not right and i'm not going to ever 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 conduct once we know the truth the truth is the truth and the truth doesn't it doesn't have to bow down to anybody's ignorance or whatever it may be and we don't like the truth sometimes we don't like the truth but the truth is the truth when we were in the 1500s yeah we in this really sort of dark age iron age bronze age whichever right you want to want to go with right yeah, it was it was OK for you to kill an animal and to eat it and for you to you die at 40 because consciousness had fallen and it dropped. Yeah. So we would lost. We're not in a golden age. We lost our divinity. So now the reason that this is all happening, it's coming so quick because we're moving towards 2020 and we're moving towards that time. Yeah. So what's happening is that the realm is ascending on its own. It has a Kundalini. I will say to you, everything, every single thing that I speak about, none of it just comes from my mind or whatever, just on its own. It's it's research and it's 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 coming from venerable masters and it all types of all types of, and a lot of it is also coming from the book of my own knowledge from within my my own book of life with myself, and it's also coming from my higher self and Ashley as well. So that what that is the the, the the aim, the game. So you cannot eat certain things because unfortunately this is what happened with to, to, to jesus scenario etc you will get kicked out of the garden of bliss so people get taken out of this realm because you didn't align yourself with life yeah this is what happens so if you drink alcohol if you want to go around doing these things i i can promise you now you will not feel this this rise in consciousness your avatar will get when i speak about being activated it's not because I'm speaking about it. It's because that is what I'm experiencing. I don't eat cooked food to experience it. Because you see what happens is I don't eat I, I don't eat cooked food, let alone animals. That's where we're where we're at. I don't eat nothing well, like that. And, I, and I'm not. I don't want to get off on a sidetrack here. <laughs> I'm just making a point. Now my point is, I don't advocate anything. I don't advocate how to eat, how to dress, what you drink, what you do. I don't advocate oh, yeah. eat, any of it. Eat, eat what you like, eat what no, you no, like. But yeah. my, my point is this. We are energy. Everything mm. is the same God, God is substance. We can mm. call something artificial intelligence, but the truth is it still comes from the same place. 
So we can integrate and balance and merge with any aspect of ourselves, which is everything outside of ourselves, right? And of course, we know there's that macro micro relationship. So all I'm trying to say is, if you had a scale, you know, like a skill, skill of judgment, and you put eating the right way, eating the way you're talking about, I'm not knocking you, I'm just trying to make a point about energy. And, and I don't even say, I'm not even saying I have the answer, but if on one side of the scale, you put uh, not eating GMOs and, and drinking high alkaline concoctions or whatever the case is, hmm. and then on the other side of the scale, and, and remember that's energy, right? Then on the other side of the scale, you have the information, the light, the awareness, the expanded awareness, the knowledge the given to you, okay? And that's energy as well. Um, it's a quantum environment that we're in now. It's not just a literal physical environment. Is that light information, uh, is it or is it not going to open code, uh, open memories, open, uh, therefore open uh, paralleling skills and abilities within ourselves? Yeah. We're, moving, we're moving so fast that I agree with what you're saying. Once the truth comes out, it's the truth. But what is true today by what I know? OK, and then I go to bed and I wake up tomorrow with an expanded truth. Guess what? The rabbit holes deeper, too. Right. Yeah. So yeah. The, the truth is also spiritual inertia, which is moving unimpeded, uh, unobstructed, uh, you know, throughout the universe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, all I, what I'm saying is, is that we're light. So we, we, again, we were saying to you earlier, I was saying about consciousness and where people are at and where you perceive it. So you got earth, fire, water, you know, you got earth, water, air, fire, and fire would be the highest point of how you perceiving the reality. Yeah. So I'm not perceiving the reality as saying that, oh, this food, that food, I'm talking about light. I'm talking about you yeah, expanding your bio. Yeah, yeah, cool. I'm speaking for the people that are listening, for the people that are listening, I'm talking about expanding your biomagnetic field in order for you to advance yourself and upgrade your your human avatar upgrade who you are what that will do it will magnify everything in your whole being this is what will happen you will be able to you will be able to get to the stage where when i talk about inner sovereignty where you're able to manifest your own abundance in front of you right there and then that's something that i i'm able to do not just i don't like saying i it's it's we because there is no i i is an illusion when you say when you're when you say manifesting abundance Mm. In, uh, you're saying on the linear scale it occurs very quickly right yeah now i'm saying to you that if you connect with your higher self if you learn how to to operate the practices correctly and you learn how to, <clears throat> to go with go with incorrectly and you learn how to to raise this this serpent sheet energy upwards i'm saying to you that you can your heart the aim of the game here which is in occult studies and will tell you this in rosy christians etc if you get to that the higher self is trying to take over this lower vehicle. That's what's going on. The higher self, true. the higher self is taking over, or well, yeah, it is. It, it, if you it, observe, it, that's what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh. but at the same time, I'm only going to be Todd once. You're only going to be Fabian once. This consciousness, oh. this consciousness with this name in this realm at this time, is equally, if not more important than every aspect that we have because it has to consciously allow that alignment of the higher self and the things that you're talking about yeah but we have to being at set this vehicle in <clears throat> in the correct fashion in order for that to happen there's a there is a sacred secretion that takes place every 30 days that we we are to practice also which is partly where what happens is the oil comes down from the claustrum santa claus coming down the the claustrum down the, down the chimney yeah you seen that, yeah. In I've order for this that, yeah. yeah, in order for this close, in order for this to this chrism to drop down, it drops down here, and it's and it, when the when the moon goes into your sun sign, right? What happens is it germinates here down in your solar plexus, and you what happens is you have to raise this chrism upwards. This is called J, J, climbing Jacob's ladder. All of yeah. this is encoded. It's yeah. climbing Jack, Jack, Jack yeah. and the Beanstalk. Yeah, and what happens is. When you raise this up, but you must be alkaline to do this. In any disruption, it won't raise. 
it won't raise. And when it raises up like this, it will activate the dormant brain cells and you will become alive. You will be illuminated and you will reach your true state of being. Yeah. And no more, no more will you be in your lower carnal mind. You will now be in a higher state of consciousness. Well, understand, and, 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 and then understanding, as you said, there's an ebb and flow to everything. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, and, and, and so, okay. So, and, and also to say there are many processes and many modalities, techniques that can, that a person can use uh, to set their trajectory to what you're talking about. Yeah. But it, it requires clean living, right? Just there is, there is this, you've got truth and above truth, above truth is truthful living. I don't know. That is the highest virtue. That's, you got. You know. can live in truth, but you've got to live correctly. You've got, I, 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 I honestly don't know the answer to that. I look at it this way: we're down here doing the work. We're down Which, here. We're down here doing the work. We are the ones mm. that chose to come here, and I'm sure we earned it. And I just mm. think that sometimes we take things a little too seriously. Everything's the same energy. That doesn't mean get drunk and disorderly and reckless and chaotic. That's it what just I'm talking means, about. It just means that when we're in our highest aspects up in the heavens as God and goddesses, I'm sure that we're sitting around there listening to great music, you know, drinking some uh, angel dust and smoking some kind of something. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm making a joke, but my point is, is that it's about bliss. It's like Joseph Campbell said, follow your bliss. Yeah, but when, you know? I'd like to ask you a question. I'd like to ask you a question. How, how, do we, how would we attain that bliss? By being happy, by being by being in alignment, and when you're in alignment, your your energy field expands. You mentioned a second ago about uh, manifesting. Well, I can look at my own path, and I can see how things are manifesting quicker and quicker from the point of thought to the point of uh, materialization. But how do you how do you how do you find your bliss? Uh, to thine own self be true. To trust yourself. Love is trust. And trust is truth, and truth is yeah. spirit, soul, freedom, sovereignty. And sovereignty to me would be, would be the would be the order of the day. That's the name of the game. You know, I, I am a sovereign soul, and that and that means I'm in full command, and and not not my anybody, anything has power over me unless I give it away. And that's I think the big lesson that we've learned through the history of what you're talking about is that we were hoodwinked, we were duped into giving away our power uh, yes. through through ways that we didn't know. But now we know. And that yeah. light inform that that information, which I will call light of knowledge, okay, I agree with you. Knowledge is just knowledge. We've learned that. It takes knowledge plus action to create wisdom. Action, and, exactly. And, yeah. So so I'm saying it, what my my action to get there might look different than your action to get there. But it's all oh, about yeah. the intention. Intentions of the heart and the heart of intention. And I think everybody here, everyone on this show, you, me, we came here to grow. We came here to expand the universe by expanding ourselves. And and that's just, you know, Texas, you know, short. Yeah, the, yeah. Quote. there's different ways. There's, there are there are some different ways to, to get to the goal. The same point of convergence, you can take different, slightly different angles to get there. But you know, look to me, there is a but there is but only one truth. And like I say, we're talking about light here. This is what we're talking about. Yeah. So we're just letting people know. So I mean, it's, it's, this isn't a case of oh, you must eat this diet or you must do this, no, you no, must no, do no, that. No. We're just saying yeah. it as it is. So for example, everything everything has a field. And these images that I'm showing you here. So for example, they come from. So this here, this is Curlian photography. This is Curlian photography. So. You can see here this this camera, very very high tech camera. It's able to pick up this lady's toroidal field, this this auric field. Yeah. yeah? So this, this the green here is the heart. Here, this is the green. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is the blue here. It's the throat. Yeah. But the the earth is green, the sky is blue, and then here yeah. we have the purple. Right. So this what I'm trying to say to you is, is this. So that's the field there, right? And then here, this is somebody's fingerprint. And it's red and blue, which represents red shift and blue shift, which represents the electromagnetic spectrum, the, the represents electromagnetism that we're in now. Yeah. So oh, the only thing I'm, what I'm trying to say is, is this. So it's about energy. It's about yes. energy. Right. So yes. Tesla will happily tell you that 
the practices that I employ, Tesla are also employed. Yeah, raising this 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 sexual energy, conserving and growing this and understanding electrical charge and electrical energy. Yep. Yeah, because we're connected to it. So I mean, what, you know, that one of the first books I ever read was Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, and he has a whole chapter on sexual transmutation. Yeah. yeah so I think you, yeah, you know, that's so it, that's that's a. Uh, well, and again, we're energy. This is this is a what a biochemical quantum way of of understanding it, and it's been around in all the sacred texts. Uh, how to move that energy? Now you're talking breath. There's Herios Gamos. There's a lot of different ways to do that. Uh, but I think, and, and what I wasn't saying anything about anybody's way of life. What I was trying to say is it's all energy, and when that yeah. knowledge, when that energy comes in we can transform it. Like for instance, I remember my brother telling me a long time ago, he went to a friend's ranch and they were making bacon. Mm. And he said, from that moment on, I could never eat a piece of bacon again. So that was some information that came into his field. It did something to him. He transformed it, right? Uh, it created a change in his life. And I think that's that's uh, what I'm trying to get at. This information that we're receiving isn't can't be weighed if it was the same information coming 12 months ago, because 12 months ago, we only had a certain point of awareness, you know, and of course, we're all on our individual paths. But uh, yeah. no, I just think, like you said, it's all energy. And and I'm just saying, is the is the information that I will call light? Is that just as, you know, quantifiable as as. As physical energy, because you're talking about merging matter with spirit. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just simply what I'm saying is now that we've discovered ways of in actually in, of actually in the physical. Because you see what's happening now, the realm that where we move, the point we're moving into now with this the rising with this ascension. What happens is is is, is the spirit and the physical is merging, and they are already merged, but they are that is becoming apparent to us. That the physical and the spiritual are one and intertwined. Yeah. So yeah. we have to you so we and that's done via via energy. So now what we've realizing, I have not just realized this through my own practices, and I, I know for a stone cold fact. Now te Tesla didn't Tesla didn't have to tell me, Tesla didn't have to tell me that the more more energy means higher levels of operating power for our consciousness. I discovered that I discovered that through my for myself. I discovered it through this age during because this is light energy. This is mm. sunlight. This mm -hmm. is coming from this light here is coming from photosynthesis. That photosynthesis that I was talking about is here because you see the sun is connected to your higher self. Yeah, which is the it's, the, it's Christic. It's the Christ. So it's saying this is you can't see this properly here, but it says photosynthesis at the bottom. And then here we've got carbon, oxygen and hydrogen. Which you, you can't see. That's what the sunlight creates. Yeah. So what happens is you're like a battery. This this is right. And you have to charge this this avatar from within. You can be down here and like you're like you're saying, you can have and you can be totally connected to who you are. Everything. Great. You could and you could be still be eating bacon and you could be doing whatever, drinking alcohol. That's fine. Great. Fantastic. What I'm here to tell you is, 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 this, is this, that you can plug into um, a, a metaphysical energy source that is in this physical realm. Yeah. And you can plug into that and it can charge you. And then you can be you can become almost superhuman. You see this I stuff agree. here that I'm telling you about this stuff here. This is the heart. This is the heart. They've been, they've been telling you about it all along. Yeah. Probably wasn't conscious enough to realize it. They were telling you that the heart energy here, they, this is what they've been telling us all along. I had another one. They, that, they, so, they and I just want to clarify, mm. to close out, they being the controllers who had to tell us what was going on in order to stay in alignment with universal law, even though they were duping us. So, yeah, they, they, you they know, have to. But, they, but you know, know in, inherently, we all know, right? We all know. And 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 I and I was just trying to make the point earlier too that for every one of us that expands our awareness, even without conscious effort, because we're energy, because we're electric, because we send signals out, 
as we expand our awareness, even if it's just us living in a cave by ourselves and seeing nobody, we are affecting the collective. We are expanding the collective beehive mind and uh, ability to tap into the Akashic and higher skills and ability. So this is this is quite exactly. fascinating. Well, we've gone an hour. Exactly. We've gone an hour and a half. We can do this again uh, for sure if you'd like to. Uh, it's good yeah, information, definitely. and that, and and I can actually put uh, you know uh, diagrams or whatever on the screen if you want to in the future. Brilliant. I That's just have to get the. I just have to get the uh, get the uh, JPEG, and then we yeah. can put it up. So, yeah. uh, Fabian, thank you. I need both physical and theoretical knowledge. Uh, huge activations. We got some great comments. Three hundred eleven comments. We've had a strong showing here today with our new brother, our new friend, our brother Fabian. And uh, please tell your friend. I think what was his name, David? I can't remember. Me. Lee, yeah, Lee. tell them thanks too. And I'm Lee. always open. I'm always open to collaborate. We are. I got to get back to work because we've got a couple of things we got to uh, complete before we go live tomorrow. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We hope to be putting you out there on that uh, network. Which what, what you got there? Yeah. So just wanted. So this is in our, in our previous golden age. This is before we. This is before we left the garden in the center. Right. I'm sending some information about you. And this is where we where we've been. But we're heading back to being centered, heart centered. Yeah. When, yeah. That's, that's right. right. That's the message. That's where we're I heading agree. back to. I agree. And we can and we can uh, we can accommodate, accelerate, facilitate the collective return to the heart uh, by doing it from ourselves. Right. That's the, that's the beautiful that's the beautiful thing about uh, discover uh, about discovering our power is is the human. Is, is not left out. You know, the human is, my partner says the human's the manager. <laughs> and, but if you think about it, I mean, and you're merging physicality with non-physicality to, to the two simple aspects of ourselves, if you want to put it that way, the one's just as important as the other. Yeah. So the, the human is the hero. That's my, my thing. Hey, I'd love to get together with you again. I'd love to get together with you again and uh, yeah, and get some of these graphs, graphics and we'll put them up on the screen. Uh, all right. You take care. Peace out, brother. Thank, Thank you. Thanks for much. having me on. Peace and love. From Thank you, Todd. Yeah, yeah, from the heart. Peace and love. See you soon. All right. Take care.